abdominal aortic aneurysms. Ever heard of them? Do you know what they are? Well, more than 70% of people at risk of having one have never heard of that disease. Two people are joining us now to change that. Dr. Pamela Bo Morris of the American College of Preventive Medicine and legendary NFL quarterback Joe Theismann. Welcome, both of you. Thank you, Chuck. Appreciate it. Thanks. Joe, your dad got you into this, didn't he? He Well, it, through my father, I got involved. I was in, it was a, There was an inquiry about me getting involved in being a spokesperson for uh -huh. AAA, which is the way we refer to it easier because abdominal, abdominal aortic aneurysm is a bit of a mouthful. Uh -huh. But And uh, I asked my dad if he had it, and he said, yes, he did. And so I said, I would love the opportunity to be able to get out and talk to people about it. There are one million people over one million people out there that have AAA that don't even know that they have it. And um, early detection of anything is very good. And this is why I'm encouraging people simply to get to the doctor. But when you go to the doctor, ask for a simple ultrasound screening right in this area. As a matter of fact, I'll show you what we've tried. This is a little Your thing we've got. We have the orange that. suspenders. And what they do is they somewhat frame the abdomen. Yeah. And that's the area we're talking about. But this is the kickoff of a campaign that we hope a lot of yeah. people will get behind so that we'll have the opportunity to be able to save lives. Well, doctor, t tell me how dangerous this is. If you have this... You know, unfortunately, abdominal aortic aneurysm is a silent killer. There are absolutely no symptoms of it. And usually the first awareness that you have of it, in 90% of people, it will be fatal. Only about 10% of people live once an aneurysm ruptures. Now explain exactly what the aneurysm is. Well, the, that, aorta. That's, the aorta is the main blood vessel that comes from the heart and then uh -huh. takes blood down to the legs. Normally it's about, oh, two centimeters. It's about the size of a man's thumb or so. Mm -hmm. It's a healthy uh, width of an aorta. At, if the walls become weakened, it becomes uh, dilated. And because of your normal blood pressure or even high blood pressure, it can expand. And finally, you get to the point where the walls weaken and it ruptures. And at that point, uh, you no longer can sustain your blood pressure. And it's fatal within 24 hours. You bleed to death, Frank. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, massive pain, yeah. internal bleeding. So this disease is it's preventable and it's very easily recognized. The screening test for it is inexpensive, nearly 100% accurate in diagnosing it, and we can save lives if we can uh, encourage people to get screened. How did your dad find out he had it? John? Actually, my father had heart surgery, had quadruple heart surgery uh -huh. 20 years ago, and this was part of a checkup, and they'd noticed that the, the uh, aneurysm was three centimeters, which there's a growth period with it and they kept an eye on it it got bigger and bigger and finally he had it done and he had a stint put in and he my go dad plays golf he goes yeah. bowling he's 89 years old he's very active and i think for more information people ought to log on to our website which is www. Um, find the triple a answers dot org now if you log on to that website you'll get a lot more information about it and it is very important that people take the time to go to the doctor when you go to specifically ask for it because i've had umpteen physicals playing sure. ball and you never think about saying can you check the aortic area of my body and by yeah, I don't know, being, I've never had that done no you never would yeah. it just you just just don't think about it and that's sure. why having the opportunity to get out and be involved in this campaign is uh, very important i think not for us necessarily but for so many americans out there that could possibly potentially be at risk. Sure. You know, but what also, are the risk factors? Well, it, that's what, it's important for your viewers to, to be aware of who's at risk. This disease more uh, commonly affects men than it does women, particularly men over 60. Men over 60 with a history of uh, uh, a family history of aneurysm, and also any man who has ever smoked. And it only takes the equivalent of about five packs of cigarettes in your lifetime to put you at risk. Really? Now, certainly all of the other heart disease risk factors play a role. So high cholesterol, high blood pressure um, also play a role. But importantly, smoking men over the age of 60. Joe, let me just switch gears just a second here sure. and talk, ask you about Plexico Burris. Yes. But today, you know, we went to jail to start right. serving that two-year term. Sentence. What was your reaction to that? I was, I was shocked. Uh, I was shocked when the incident happened. First, I asked myself, why are you carrying a gun into a club? I mean, I sort of, I understand what's going on in society today and, and things have changed, but, you know, that, that bothered me, first of all. And secondly, you know, he shot himself. Uh, you have to understand where things take place and happen in the state of New York. There are very stringent gun laws, right. and they're enforced in a very stringent way. And so, you think his penalty is too stiff? No, I don't. I don't. I, I think sometimes you have to 
uh, it's no different than it would be, say, for other people, possibly. Maybe some make exceptions, maybe some don't. There are other people, I'm sure, that are serving as equally severe sentences or even more. But it, hopefully it will get a message out to not just athletes but to everybody that this kind of behavior, these kind of things happening just aren't good for anyone. And we, I think, has, have a responsibility as public figures to conduct ourselves in a manner so that it doesn't influence young people in a negative way. To me, this influences kids in a, young, uh, in a negative way. So, you know, you know, don't carry a gun. And I mean, first, I guess, to be honest with you, Chuck, I, I chuckled. He shot himself. How do, you, how do you shoot yourself? That's the first thing you say. And then, you know, you understand that it could have hit someone. It could have been a lot worse yeah, yeah. than it really was. And, you know, he'll pay the price. And I believe he'll be able to come back and play football. I believe Plexico Burris will get a chance, as Michael Vick has, to come back to the National Football League and play at some point in time. Well, Joe, you, both you and Dr. Morrison are doing wonderful things here. And we appreciate you coming in. And, and uh, good luck with this new charity. Thank, Thank you. you so Thanks much. so much for giving us a chance to you be bet. able to really talk to people. really appreciate it. Thank you.